on Twitter and other social media platforms. Twitter saying the president used the platform to incite violence. 18 News reporter Chelsea Lavelle joining us now live in the studio with more on the social media ban. Chelsea. Jordan, recently Twitter was put in a tough spot in a lot of ways. President Trump's tone hasn't changed since he started using social media platforms, such as Twitter, as a megaphone. But in light of recent events, such as last week's seize of the Capitol, it's become quite evident to tech companies that con continuing to give President Trump free will to say whatever he wants on these platforms has led to violent consequences. May Habib is the CEO of Writer.com, and her team has been tracking toxic language on Twitter since the fall election. Here's what she has to say about their research. What Twitter has decided is that um, even though he has been, you know, crossing that line for a long time, they had protected his tweets, not under First Amendment um, uh, rights, but under kind of he's a person of interest. The technology community, as we've seen over the past week, has kind of in aggregate um, together decided um, that enough is enough is enough. Habib says it's going to be incumbent on tech companies to clarify where is the line they draw between inflammatory language and those First Amendment rights. She projects that there will be some sort of measure put in place to set a standard for social media users to be held to because we'll be dealing with these fallouts from President Trump's ban from tech platforms for years to come. Live in the studio, Chelsea Lavelle, 18 News.